The 1993 Toyota Supra 4509 GTR by Veilside Japanese tuning firm, Veilside, is no stranger to building new auto projects using their Japanese counterparts as their base model. This time around, the aftermarket company headed over to the 2011 Tokyo Auto Salon to present their latest masterpiece, the 4509 GTR Supra. Based on the fourth-generation Toyota Supra that dominated the streets of the world back in the 90s, the 4509 GTR certainly looks noting like its predecessor. The credit, for better or worse, certainly goes to Veilside for the sick as a high-fever styling upgrades. Though it's not a completely original piece of work, we found a few traces on the car that makes it resemble a few of its European contemporaries, Veilside's work on the Supra is nothing short of detail-oriented. And on top of the aesthetic improvements, Veilside also gave quite a performance package to boost up the monster under its hood. In the world of aftermarket lore, that's about as good as you can get for a mid-90s Toyota Supra, proving that no cars are too old for a quality modification. Details on the Toyota Supra 4509 GTR by Veilside after the jump. Exterior and interior. The Toyota Supra used for this project dates back to 1993, but you wouldn't even consider it just by looking at what the car looks like these days. Among the upgrades done include the use of carbon fiber and fiberglass on a number of its panels, a specially built grille made from polyurethane and quassone emblems. Veilside also added a set of 20 inches and 22 inches black alloy wheels on the front and back, respectively. These wheels are then given Bridgestone Potenza tires 255/30 R20 at the front and 295/25 R22 at the back. Inside the car, Veilside also gave it some nice digs, including new sports seats that have been upholstered in fine leather and diamond quilted Alcantara. There's also a new sports steering wheel, an upgraded instrument panel, and a Veilside original speed meter. Performance the 4509 GTR was also modified in the performance department in the tune of upgrades to the car's engine. The Supra's twin turbocharged inline six cylinder engine was given an HKS turbo kit complete with an intercooler, upping the car's output to 680 horsepower at 6,250 RPM and 594.5 pounds per foot of torque. On top of that, the car was also given a new racing clutch, a custom sports exhaust system, a new braking system, and sports suspension. Pricing No word yet on pricing, although the extensive work done on the car should see it command a pretty hefty price tag. Competition In the battle of old-school Japanese sports cars, the Supra had a pretty infallible adversary in the form of the Nissan Skyline. The Supra, in its standard form, boasts of a twin-turbocharged 2JZ GTE engine that produces 320 horsepower and 315 pound-feet of torque while also achieving a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 4.6 seconds. Meanwhile, the Nissan Skyline of the 90s was equally formidable, boasting of impressive features including a 2.6-liter TR, RB26DETT twin-turbo I6 engine that produces 280 horsepower. Love it reliving the past with a car in step with the future the Supra returns, sort of aesthetic design adds a great touch. Leave it no pricing yet whatever the changes, the fact remains that the Supra as an old model looks to have been inspired by other models. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.